This will be an interesting experiment. <laughs> what is up guys? My name is Chase and this is Yuki. Welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to make this quick little video because today Nintendo announced some news. They have officially announced the Switch Lite, which has been rumored for a while now, I feel like. This is the part where we have to get the iPad, so. You live in an Apple house, Keiyuki. Remember, once you go Mac, you never go back. So basically, if, if you want to see a whole spec sheet, I'll leave a link in the description. But just to kind of give you the gist of it, the main features of the Switch Lite, or lack thereof, a better battery life, which they are saying is about half an hour better than the regular Switch. It is smaller, lighter, surprisingly not thinner. I would have thought they would have went thinner, but I guess it kind of makes sense that the Joy-Con need to be the same, whatever. Speaking of Joy-Con, there are no like external Joy-Con. Yuki, you're gonna fall off the chair, buddy. So since this is strictly a handheld console, there are no detachable Joy-Con. The Joy-Con are basically fixed into the actual Switch. The benefit of that is that there's an actual D-pad on the Switch, which is something you can't say about the Switch now, which is making me kind of jealous, whatever. But since the controllers are fixed onto the Switch Lite, that means there's no HD rumble, there's no infrared sensor. It doesn't even give you the option to hook it up to a TV, which I thought was interesting, but I guess also makes sense. What I find interesting about the Switch Lite is that there's a specific list of games that you can play on the Switch Lite since they have to basically strictly allow you to play in handheld mode. So games like 1-2-Switch will require you to have external Joy-Cons. And finally, the Switch Lite will run 200 US dollars, which I think is a bit too expensive for this device. I really think 150 would have been a better choice for the Switch Lite. Try to offset the sales of the 3DS at this point because, you know, at this point the 3DS is basically done and over with. Yeah, Yuki, why isn't it 150? Why is it 200 dollars? But anyway, my final thoughts, I, I just think this is sort of an interesting direction that Nintendo is taking. Don't poop on me, Jay. I think this goes to show that they are open to further extending the line of Switch models that they have, which does, I think, point us into the direction of a Switch Pro, which I think I'm more excited for than anything. In the end, I think the Switch Lite is gonna be good for children, especially. I mean, that is basically what it looks like they're marketing it towards. Um, you know, what I give them a lot of props for with the Switch Lite is that it looks like sort of a child-friendly device, but at the same time, it still has that modern element that the, you know, regular Switch has. So in the end, I think this will be a good device for, you know, especially kids. Maybe they're coming up from the 3DS to the Switch Lite. It's a Nintendo handheld and, you know, with the DS and everything, that usually goes good for them. <laughs> Anyway guys, I'm gonna end this video here before Yuki poops on my lap. Um, let me know what you think of the Switch Lite in the comments. What do you think of the Switch Lite, Yuki? Do you like the Switch Lite? Huh? Do you think it'll be better than the regular Switch? I don't think so. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you again soon. Bye. Let's go. Good job, Yuki.